Could you tell me a little bit about the story? It's about a travel agent who's never traveled in his life in Lebanon, and he lives with his wife and kid, uh, kind of like a mundane existence, and he's always dreamed of traveling. And one day he finally gets an opportunity to, to travel to Paris for a business conference, and suddenly he finds that his values, um, everything that he dreamed about has been shaken to its core. And um, meanwhile, he kind of becomes infatuated with his second cousin who lives in the city. And so it's really a story about um, somebody trying to discover what's important to him and uh, finding himself out. What attracted you to the screenplay? It was kind of based on a, on a, a guy that I knew who I used to work with in the States who um, he used to have this, he used to be a very silent character and I used to observe him and just wonder what's wrong with this guy. He, he came from the mountains, from Lebanon, for the first time to the States in his life. And while he was living there, I just felt this frustration and I never could understand. And later I found out that this guy was completely infatuated with another woman and was thinking of abandoning his family. So this character really stuck with me for many years and I started to imagine his story and it developed from that. What do you hope the audiences will take away from watching the film? Um, I hope they're, first of all, entertained. That's the most important thing to feel like they're just watching a, a fun, a, an interesting story. Uh, and second of all, to have them just reflect on, on what's important to them in their lives and at the same time uh, just have a good time, really. I mean, to me that's the most important thing and then everything else comes is very subjective. How does it feel to be selected for the Rain Dance Film Festival? Oh, it's great. I, um, I love this festival. I think it's a really, really important festival because it really focuses a lot on independent filmmakers. And, um, and in this day and age, I think we really, we really do need these independent voices. And uh, it's a real honor to be, to be playing here, for sure. What is the impact of festivals like Rain Dance? do you think, on cinema as a whole? I think that they basically give a platform for independent filmmakers and independent voices to, to, to showcase their work. And I think that that's, that's the most important thing, is you have the big, the big, the very famous, glamorous film festivals like Cannes and Venice, and those have their place. But at the same time, film festivals like Raindance are to me, just as important, they are kind of an alternative to that, that show really, really unique voices. And it also helps a lot of filmmakers to feel like they can um, challenge themselves and take risks and not have to worry about um, whether I'm going to be liked or whether I'm not going to be liked. Just being judged on the, on the, on the, on the, um, on the purity of the voice, I suppose.